Here is an interesting video. I received a laptop, actually a brand new one out of the box supposedly. Uh, clients have bought it from Koken Online. And simply when they turn it on and sign into their account, this is the message they get. A factory error has been detected. And I had a look into this issue. I couldn't find much help online. But I did find a solution and hopefully this will help you. Because there is no hardware ID in the motherboard, um, because of that it cannot identify itself and it thinks it has been modified in some way. And most likely this one had a Linux or Windows or some other operating system installed by someone else before. So it's actually an open unit, not a brand new unit. So I'll show you how to fix it. So continue watching and hopefully it will help you out. Thank you. First thing we need to do is enable developer mode. So make sure the computer is off. Hold the escape and the refresh button. While holding those two keys, press the power button. And you'll get a warning message. You can actually see the main reason we have this problem is the model information is missing that has been destroyed from previous owner when they attempted to install Linux or another operating system. To continue, hold Ctrl and D and continue the process. It will automatically start in 30 seconds. Now you don't want to enable OS verification yet, so let it continue. Press Ctrl D to continue again. When this is finished, you will need to sign back in again. It's like factory resetting, but developer mode is enabled now. At the screen, Ctrl D to continue again. You can ignore this message for now, as we will fix it shortly. Continue through the rest of the process until you're back into your account. Once you're in, open a terminal window by pressing Ctrl Alt T. Next, you want to type the word shell, press Enter, that will open a command line interface. And then type the following as you see on the screen. From now on you just follow the prompts, so this is the first stage. I really like this part, so continue along. Now this is doing its magic, this is the first part, and now we'll go into the second part. After this process, simply reboot the computer and sign back into your account and open the terminal window again. 
Now I've rebooted the computer and back in terminal, type the shell command as before, and here is a different command you'll need to type. By the way, after L, that actually should have been an O, not a zero, so I'll fix that up in the next command. You'll need to pick option 5 here, and you need to be really careful from here onwards. Now, if you know your previous computer's hardware ID, you, you can enter that here. It has to be all uppercase, but if you don't know it, you can use the one I'm using now, or another one. That's all there is to it, so hopefully this has helped you. If it hasn't, comment in the video and maybe someone or I can help you. Thank you for watching. I'll reboot the computer now, you will see that warning message is not coming up anymore. I'm also going to re-verify the operating system, so it may do a factual reset. As you can see, I can now have a model number showing before it didn't. And I'm actually going to let it verify the OS and it will wipe it and bring back the factory default. Thank you for watching again.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.